Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at surface creation in Fusion 360. So under the surface tab, uh, we have this create, which has a bunch of commands, especially these um, seven commands here, as well as pattern, mirror, thicken, and boundary fill. And under modify, we also have a bunch of commands, trim, untrim, extend, stitch, and so on and so forth. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use these commands to create different surfaces. Okay, so here I have a bunch, a collection of different commands. And we are going to go over them one by one. So the first command is extrude and then revolve sweep and loft. These are very, very similar to what you had in part design, except they make a surface. And surface is a, an object that has no thickness. So basically an imaginary object with zero thickness, okay? So let's say here, if we go with new and go to surface and uh, we create a sketch, so let's say go to this plane and then let's say make S line and write something, let's say some write something like uh, letter S, okay? Let me use this. Um, to here, sorry, uh, there we go, here. So write something like letter S, right? And then double click and get out. And now we can use extrusion and we can give it some depth, something like this. And you can do it one way, you can do it both ways, you can do it symmetrical, you can start from the profile plane or with offset or up to object, you can taper angle is quite a bit different here. I mean, like if you say 30 degrees, you see, so when it extrudes, it's kind of uh, gives this extra angle, okay? So you don't get the volume that is tapered, but you still can get something like this. So this is what, this is the extrusion and it's kind of giving this nice kind of warping or um, twist, you might say. And then uh, another way is if you want to fill inside the sketch. So let's say go back to the same plane and draw letter S, but this time uh, basically we create two profiles and connect them together, right? So let's go to SP line and write letter S again. Like that. And then we can pick this and we can use the offset tool. So we pick this and offset it maybe for four mils and we can fill up it, bring it in something like this and then we connect the ends together, so one like that and the other one like this, okay? Make a closed sketch, get out, and now you can do a patch by selecting the profile and it is gonna fill it for you, okay? So it can fill it for you and there we go. That's another way to basically create a um, patch or in SolidWorks, let's say we call it fill command. Okay, then of course we have revolve and sweep. So very similar to what we had. So let's say this time, again, we go back to uh, the XY plane. And again, we write letter S, right? So let's use SP line again and write letter S. And then we use these, this as a path for a profile. So we go to construct and we use plane along the path for this path. And we put it at zero, which is exactly the beginning. Now we go on this plane, we start to sketch and then maybe we do some circle, right? Then get out. And now we're gonna sweep this circle along that path. So this is my profile and this is my path. And I want it to be what perpendicular, although I can make them parallel to a specific direction. And there we go, right? So this is another way to write letter S, okay? And by the way, you still have move and copy commands and you can move stuff around. So let's say something like 
this. Right? So you see here, I made different forms of letter S for different type of commands. Then we go with revolve, which of course you have to basically uh, revolve a, a sketch about some axis. So let's say this time we go to uh, the front plane like that and we make something like for instance uh let's do letter s again <laughs> that might be interesting huh can we do that so here we do letter s get out and this time i want to create an axis so i need another sketch for the axis so go back to this front plane again and this time i draw a line here like this and I can convert it to a construction element, or this one actually. Get out. And now I want to pick this um, profile, and for the axis, I want to pick this. And there we go. Look. Now. <laughs> Yeah, this is what happens if you revolve letter S, right? Interesting, huh? Okay, so the next command is loft, of course, which is very similar to what you had in the past. What you need is basically you need two parallel planes. So let's say we go with the front plane. And on this plane, let's say we draw a circle somewhere here, right? And then we go and we create an offset plane from the front plane and let's say for instance 100 mils that's good now we go on this plane and we draw another sketch this time a centered rectangle centered at the center of the circle and a little bit bigger something maybe like that and we force these two lines to be equal or this one actually there we go get out and now we can loft them so we go to loft and we pick this one and then we pick this one and it creates a loft we can grab these corners and we can create twists in the profile if you want or we can create guide curves and or uh, in this call called rails and we can do that as well right so let's see if i can just twist this a little bit if it allows me to doesn't Get on the way, something like that. There we go. There we go. That's a loft. And let me move this loft out of the way. So click on this guy and move it back a little bit. There we go. One of the other commands you have, you can thicken a surface and make it into a solid object. So here I go with the thicken command says, what do you want to thicken? And I say the surface. And then it says, okay, how much is the thickness? I say, let's say four mils. Okay. And here you see, I only clicked on one patch of the surface, not the whole thing. So if you want, you have to basically select the whole of the surface, right? And you see here, if you don't have, hold down control, it's just going to pick one of them, right? So here I'm going to pick all four surfaces seems like i'm missing one of them which i don't know which one there we go okay and now let's give it some four mil thickness and it could be inside or outside right you see it's outside but you can bring it like here like you see 10 mil inside 20 mil inside let's say 5 mil inside and you can even have it one way or symmetric and you can okay that and there we go now you got the body Okay, so now you got what? You got this body here, which is the result of uh, thickening the surface. So you see the surfaces look this like this, they're orange. And the body for a solid object is basically a, a cylindrical shape. So these are some of the basic commands that we have. And then, uh, of course, we have offset. So let me show you the offset one, which is an interesting thing. So here, what I do is, 
I go back to this one, right? This first one that I created and get rid of the tapper angle. Okay, and maybe make it 20 mil. There we go. So this is that surface. Now I can create an offset version of the surface. So I pick the surface and go to offset and create an offset uh, surface of that with a distance of four mil or let's say five. And I can have it outside or inside. So let's say this is good. There we go, right? So here we zoomed in and you can see the surface and the offset of the surface, okay? So let's say this is another thing that uh, is useful. And then um, one of the other things you can do if you have several surfaces, you can basically stitch them together or join them together and make a big uh, single surface, right? For instance, let's say um, I want to make a cylindrical surface, a closed cylinder, right? What do I do? I go to the... Um, XY plane and I draw a circle like this. Okay. Get out. And then I will extrude it, of course, or so much. Right. So that's this one. And then now I can use the patch command. I pick this top surface. There we go. So I put a lid on it. And the bottom is empty. So I can do the same thing for the bottom. There we go. But now these three patches, the bottom patch, this one, this one, and this one, they are three separate surfaces, not one single one. So if you want, you can combine these three, which is body nine, eight, and 10, can pick all three of them and then what? Stitch it into one single surface, right? And as soon as you say, okay, now look, they are turned into body seven and, or in this case, Let's see, it should be this one. Body 11, and body 11 is what? Body 11 is these three surfaces together. Now, let's go back. You see here, the operation is not only it joins them, it converts them into a body. But if you don't want a body, you just say, hey, just join them. Don't create a solid object out of that. Just make them a joint surface. And you okay that. So now they're just three surfaces joined into one surface and it's not really a new solid object. Okay, so we have this uh, stitch here as well, right? And then, uh, of course, we have pattern. So we can pattern anything, we can mirror anything. And I have shown you all of those. So there, there is nothing new to them. The new commands that I really want to show you is uh, trim and untrim, especially trim, extend, maybe reverse normal, and come back here and show you a boundary fill. Okay, these are the kind of thing that are new to surface design, and I really want to show you. So to show you that, let me show you something interesting. So let me get rid of this part and uh, maybe these two as well I just want the cylinder oh I seems like i deleted the wrong surface there we go and then this one okay and let's make this cylinder a little bit bigger or taller in this case so maybe 100 now what i do is i go on the um uh front plane and i create an axis for a sweep something like this get out and you see that's not exactly where this guy is and so i need to move this back there and for that reason let me get the surfaces out of the way there we go so i moved them out of the way and i made sure that this axis passes through the cylinder now I make a plane through path with this one at one, which is this end. And now on this one, on this plane, I'm going to create a circle like 
that and I'm going to do a sweep. Wrong command. Okay, profile. That. There we go. Okay, so here I have something like an intersection. Now, let's say I want to make something like a T, of course, in this case, a tilted T. I want to get rid of this top portion of the cylinder or this portion, and I just want to make a connection, right? Something that you see in the pipes or ventilation canals. So here I have two objects cutting through each other, and I want to get rid of some of the parts. So the best way to do it is the trim command. So I use the trim command, and it says, what do you want to trim? I pick this one, and then I pick this. The part that is red is just going to go. Look here. You see? So that portion is gone. That's the thing that I did not want. Okay? And now I need to get rid of this part as well, this inner part. So here I go back to the trim. And I could have done it with the previous command. And again, I use this. And I say, hey, I don't want this one as well. Boom. That one is gone. So now you see I have like a T connection except here that the intersection exists there is no hole here you see that curve that should be empty inside not full for that reason again i use the trim tool and let's see if i can pick this one this time as the trim tool and say get rid of that and okay that and there we go you see so now i made a t surface beautiful right so the trim command is extremely powerful command and you can use it and of course untrim is doing the exact opposite here the next command is extend so here extend sorry and you click on extend and it allows you to grab any edge and then extend it so let's say i want to extend this edge and it says, how do you want to do it? Natural, perpendicular, or tangent, and then provide the distance. So let's say I want to extend this for another 30 mils, and there we go. You see, here I could make it longer. So that is really another powerful command. Okay, now remember I told you that you can um, split a, a physical object with the surface, and you can create another body, right? So let me show you how to do that. For instance, here, this S, right, is a hollow surface. But now, let's make it a sealed surface. So here, I use the patch command, and I close these two caps. So here, right, create one here. Right, so that is closed. And now I come here, and I repeat the same thing for this circle. There we go. So that one is closed. Now that I have these three patches, I can stitch them together into one single solid, one single surface. So it's this one, and then this one, and then this one. So I pick these three, and then I stitch them together into one single surface. There we go. So now it is this guy here. And now I'm going to cut a solid object with this surface. Okay. And by the way, let's go back here and edit feature. And I make them just join like that. It's just surface. So now I create a solid body that completely involves this guy. And then I'm going to use the surface to cut that and make a solid object out of it. How? So here I go to the top plane. Right. And then on this top plane. I draw some sketch, look, draw something like this, get out, and then before I do anything else, let me move this other S out of the way, this Holding my view. There we go. So now, 
with this sketch, I'm going to go to solid and extrude this. And I'm going to go below, look, such that this one completely contains that surface like this. So now that surface that I made, this one is hidden inside that. Now, can I use that to cut through this object? Yes. And I can do it either here through this um, split body or there is a similar thing in surface that you saw. So let's do this one. And it says, what is the body to split? You say this one. And what is the splitting tool? You say this guy. Okay. And you okay that. Right. Now, if I go ahead and hide this body, which one is it? This guy, right? It's this one. If I hide this one, look, now I have this body 19 and 18. And what's the difference between these two? 18 is the surface. 19 is the solid body. And they are in the same place, okay? 18 and 19 are on the top of each other, but if you want, you can move it. So use an M and grab one of them and move it out of the way so you'll see that there are two things here, not one. You see that? Look. So this is 18. That's the original surface. This is 19. So I can click here and rename it as body splitted with surface right but this 18 i can just call it what i can just call it stitched surface okay so you can give them all appropriate names right this one for instance i can call him trim surface revolve surface offset surface thick and lofted object and so on and this is just patch so uh these are some of those things i wanted to show you and the other one one thing is called reverse normal which is basically making the re normal of a surface in the opposite direction so let's see if i click on this and click on this object could be quite interesting what happens to this if i okay that you see the parts that had the um, normal, let me do a control Z, look. So you see that there are different colors here. One part of the surface is kind of yellowish. One part is kind of gray, metallic gray. It's because their normals are different direction, right? So the normal of this and the normal of that in the opposite direction. But if I do pick this and say reverse normal, it does the exact opposite. So now you see the top part turn out to be metallic gray. The bottom part goes yellow. Look. Do you see that? Okay. Right. Uh, seems like it didn't happen. Let me do it again. Okay, then there we go. You see? So the normal vector is reversed or the curvature basically mm, the sign of the curvature not the magnitude so uh, that is for that part i assume the last thing i want to tell you is uh this um boundary fill which is basically creating a volume by the surfaces that are uh creating a volume inside of them so it's quite a bit similar to this uh split tool right but in a split tool you have one single surface that is a bunch of surfaces stitched together here you don't need to have one surface you can have different patches and then the volume that is the intersection of them will be basically uh given a uh a body for itself for instance here look i have these two surfaces right and then another thing i can do is i go back to the uh, uh top plane again look here so uh wrong plane i go to this other plane let's see this one and uh oh it's there hard to see huh 
So I draw one line here. And then I draw another line there. Okay, and I exit, and then I extrude it. So this one and this one. Ah, seems like, oh, there we go. Okay, so here I have four surface patches, right? That completely intersecting. And uh, at the bottom of this, is one plane the top of this is one plane so let's say here i need to go to another plane and do that one as well so let me go to this plane and before i do that seems like i need to get this one out of the way so let me just fast move this out of the way with m you can use m to bring move you can pick this guy and move it out of the way. So let's go all the way here. That should do. And now we go back to our sketch. It's a little bit sometimes hard to grab the sketch planes with too many things here on the top of each other. There we go. And now, again, I do two more lines. One line like this, look. And then another one line like this. There we go. And now, I'm going to create extrusion for these as well. And go this way until it cuts the whole thing. And then you have to repeat that for the other one. There we go. So you see now I have a bunch of surfaces, the two S's, these two vertical walls and these two horizontal planes. And in between these surfaces, there is a volume that is basically enclosed, right? There is a volume in between them. So for that, I'm going to go to boundary fill, right? And it says, what are the boundary surfaces? And by the way, they don't have to all be surfaces. Sometimes they could be planes, right? So I say, well, I, the surfaces are this guy, this one, this one. Let's see which one it selected. This one this guy and this one there should be six of them and it shows you the 3d visualization for the volume that is between them and uh, if you select that then you can create a new body for it right so now if i go ahead and hide all of these surfaces right i created a bunch of extrusions right this one i just go ahead and hide it right i assume it's this guy so let's use a v and hide it there we go and then this guy a v this guy a v a v here the surface a v and then this surface a v there we go you see that's that solid volume the boundary fill that you had between these guys okay so we got that one I just remember there is one more command that I didn't tell you, and that is this ruled surface, which is basically creating a surface at a specific angle and distance from some selected edges. So let's say, for instance, I go to this uh, front plane, and I draw a simple corner rectangle, right? Something like this. Get out, and uh, then look here. I say I want the ruled surface with this profile selected, right? And then it says, okay, which direction 
normal tangents and you can even give angles so let's say i wanted a 30 degree angle and i want to go for like 40 mils and you see here you can create this ruled surface for the direction right and there we go that is a um, ruled surface you see that so very uh, uh i would say a powerful tool for creating some advanced surfaces in a, a very short time so this is what we had for covering surfaces hopefully this was useful to you and you learn how to do basic tasks for surfaces and i'm going to see you in the next video thank you